Hey y'all, it's Monday and welcome back to Cleopatra's Nature, the power of nature radio show. Y'all, thank y'all so much. I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. Welcome back to my show. Thank y'all for tuning back in this week. So yes, it is Cleopatra's Nature, the power of nature radio show, y'all. So I am excited. I'm feeling good today. I hope y'all are feeling okay. I had a wonderful weekend because... Y'all, on Saturday, I did start my new little thing that I said I was going to be doing for a while now, um, and that is called Savor Saturday. I wanted to do Savor Saturday because I wanted everybody to do something to show their self some appreciation, just something to make yourself smile. Anything just for you, maybe your favorite food, your favorite place, whatever you like to do to enjoy yourself light some candles just meditate read a book get some needed rest whatever so i wanted to call it safer saturday just to give things that i am made it to the end of that i have made it to the end of the week sorry about that y'all but I did want to just give things that I have made it to the end of the week and I wanted everybody else to enjoy the fact that they made it to the end of the week we are alive and healthy and do something to show yourself some appreciation because you deserve it so I wanted to savor my Saturday and I did if you want to tune in to my savoring of my Saturday you can look on my YouTube channel Clear Factors Nature because I did post a video for all of us to see what my Saturday was going to be like. So y'all, this is the power of nature. So today on the power of nature, we are talking about headaches and migraines. I know a lot of people suffer from headaches and migraines. I myself have been curing myself of headaches and migraines due to high blood pressure because when you have a headache or you have a migraine there's always a trigger there's always a cause or a reason sometimes um, there are like 300 types of headaches they only know about 10 percent that's like about 30 of, of the types of headaches they actually know about they don't know what causes the rest of those headaches or whatever like they only know about 30 of them um but a headache does cause pain in the head the face the upper neck and the ones that they know about they do call primary headaches i know headaches is something that is bothering a lot of us due to dieting due to stress anxiety pressure it's a lot going on with our bodies and stress so I did want to tell y'all about headaches. The first headache that I am going to talk about is tension headaches. The reason why I'm going to talk about tension headaches is because it's one of the most common of the primary headaches. Uh, a lot of people have tension headaches. They occur in about three of every four adults. Literally, tension headaches are the most common of all headaches. In most cases, they are mild and moderate and severe, and they occur um, infrequently literally so with tension headaches they produce like a dull squeezing pain on both sides of your head and i know if y'all are confused about migraines and headaches migraines only happen on one side of the head versus headaches happen on both sides of the head um which is triggered um a lot of times when you have migraines i know it's triggered by fatigue vomiting and when you having headaches triggered on both sides of your head it also has fatigue emotional stress and other problems like involving the muscle joints of the neck and the jaw they can last anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours tension headaches can um basic pain relievers get rid of tension headaches I'm going to talk about a bunch of herbs, some fruits and vegetables that we can be consuming to kind of manage and subside some of the headaches that we have been having. Um, there are sinus headaches. Sinus headaches are like pain over the forehead, around the nose and the eyes, over the cheeks and the upper teeth. And basically with sinus headaches, they stooping for increases the pain. Like I know... Le leaning forward 
leaning to the side sometimes when you having a really really bad headache or migraine it seems like everything in your head is going in that direction and the only thing you can do is try to just hold your head as stiff as possible to ease the pain because it does get everywhere the pain is everywhere in your head um i know it's it's followed by like thick nasal discharge congestion fever problems sinus issues um acute infections in the nasal passages cause a lot of sinus headaches as well and then we have high blood pressure headaches these headaches just like they sound are from high blood pressure um a lot of people suffer from high blood pressure around about approximately 51,000 people reported that hypertension is associated with their headaches it's the cause of their headaches so we have to be mindful about the things that we're putting in our body the things that we're doing the things that we're literally bringing around us and consuming in our daily life because it is affecting us there's always a trigger there's always a reasoning and a cause behind pain in your body we just have to figure out what that reason is what that cause is and how we can benefit it how we can better it and help ourselves throughout our daily lives because when you have a bad headache when you have a migraine really really bad you can't really do anything you know good for yourself you know good for the people around you you can't function that good at work because a lot of times you can't even see you can barely even hear just moving your head seems like somebody is digging a screwdriver through it when you're having a bad migraine so when it comes to migraines like there's no exact cause for having a migraine um so it's been you know researching or whatever but they're saying like abnormal brain activity affecting the nerve signals chemicals and blood vessels in the brain is what really causes a migraine um it can come sometimes with no warning and like i said sometimes it always has a trigger um when this happens it's like throbbing occurs severely throbbing on one side of the head vomiting nausea extreme sensitivity the light and sound um, migraines are more intense than a headache different triggers cause migraines like hormonal environmental emotional physical dietary and medicinal factors all play a key role in what causes us to have a migraine and to keep it so long because a migraine can last anywhere from 20 minutes to 24 hours to 48 hours literally sometimes you wake up and go to bed with the same migraine for days for days um I did want to talk about some of these triggers. Um, again, migraines have different triggers. The different triggers for migraines are hormonal, environmental, emotional, physical, dietary, and medicinal factors. These are things that we are doing in our daily life, literally. So all these things, we have to literally learn how to control the powers of our mind control what we got going on around us control what we're putting in our body control what we're doing so at that point we can be able to subside some of these headaches and migraines um so just to get into the emotional triggers some of the emotional triggers are stress anxiety tension shock depression excitement different things can that we go through you know we stress and have anxiety be depressed all the time um as a lot shock family death a car accident something could have put us in shock right then some type of excitement went on in our life that was a little bit too much for our brain activity right then and it caused us to have a migraine headache we have to really be careful with how we're treating in our body and what we're doing for our body because if we treat our body well our body will treat us well it will love us 
it will last 200 years just what i'm saying you have to love your body and your body will love you back uh, then when it comes to the physical triggers a lot of things the, I'm, i want to talk about the first most important thing to me when it comes to figure, physical triggers is get, not getting enough sleep i know i'm tired of hearing oh i sleep when i die no you won't because this is only the first step you're going to a whole nother dimension so we need to get the proper amount of rest because tiredness poor sleep quality really affects our body it breaks us down like it breaks our organs down it breaks our brain down it breaks down everything our functioning our cognitive abilities it breaks everything down like when you're tired when you have poor sleep quality you are more at risk to have some type of accident or some type of harm to yourself be done because you're so tired you're not able to pay attention and function properly to the things that's going on around you and not only that um like working too much poor posture slouching slouching slumping not standing up right poor posture these are physical issues that cause us to have headache because with poor posture it actually runs up through our neck through our back of our through the back of our neck up our spine all of that up to our brain and getting all of this tension and bad blood pressure flowing to our brain is having causing us um neck and shoulder tension jet lag low blood sugar um, too much exercise are all physical triggers for migraines, literally. Physical triggers for migraines are tiredness, poor sleep quality, shift work, poor posture, neck and shoulder tension, jet lag, low blood sugar, and getting too much, too much exercise, overdoing it literally overdoing it will cause you to have a very bad migraine overdoing it and also dietary triggers are also things like missed and delayed irregular meals not properly eating the amount of meals that you should be eating not properly getting the amount of nutrients in your body sometimes i know i myself i eat once a day just because i like to fast sometimes 12 hours sometimes 14 hours i like to fast so i know on some days I will start to feel myself getting a headache or feeling a little way so I'll then have to go ahead and eat me some food because dietary triggers are one of the main causes of having migraine headaches is dietary triggers because we are literally not eating the right things putting very very poor things into our immune system and our body affecting us so we have to make sure that we are eating the amount of meals that we need to be eating so we won't run into these dietary triggers also dehydration a lot of us are not drinking enough water it's preferred to drink a gallon of water a day i know a lot of times with a headache you can just kind of grab a bottle of water and drink the full bottle of water right then and rehydrate your body and ease your, ease your headache alcohol is also a dietary trigger for headaches and migraines because alcohol has a lot of harmful things in it but it also has a lot of good things in it that can help or hurt our body as well so it also um, depends on the the consumption and the amount that we're consuming to harm our body and trigger those dietary triggers to have migraines and headaches also um excessive caffeine can trigger migraines and headaches too much coffee too much soda too much tea caffeine products in general too much overindulging in caffeine is a dietary trigger that will cause a migraine um 
overindulging in citrus foods, overindulging in chocolates will also cause you to have migraines, foods that contain the substance um, thiamine, including cured meats like yeast extracts, pickled herrings, smoked fish, certain cheeses, um, cheddar, y'all overindulging in certain types of food, even some food just consuming it. I know, um, you know, I'm from Alabama, so I grew up on the pig, the whole pig, eating the whole pig, consuming all types of pork. But as I aged, I started to get really bad headaches every time I would eat pork. So that was the first thing that I got rid of in my diet was pork because I actively saw that the pork was causing me to have headaches. I actively saw that it was causing me to feel bad and to be bad in my body. It was keeping me down for days. Like I would have a headache for days until my system literally flushed the pork out. So I know for a fact that dietary triggers will cause us to have migraines sometimes until our system is able to push it out and even then when i first discovered it eating the pork on type of poor dehydration not having a proper amount of water and i believe that's what happened for so many days to keep me to have a headache for so many days after eating pork years ago is because like yeah i'll stop eating it but I'm not drinking enough water. I know I'm not getting a gallon, so always make sure that we're getting enough water in our body at all times because having enough water in our body will save our lives enough at a time. Um, we do have environmental triggers that trigger headaches and migraines and cause headaches and migraines. Um, sensitivity to bright lights, flickering screens, TVs and computers. I don't know if y'all grew up like how I grew up with my mother and my grandma saying, move back from that TV. Turn that TV off. You're watching too much TV. It wasn't really no cell phones back then. So we was kind of just, you know, watching TV and stuff like that. Um, I think my first phone was a little Nokia and it was even mm -hmm. strain on your eyes or whatever would cause environmental triggers as well to cause us headaches. Like a lot of the kids are overindulging in these electronics phones tablets ipads laptops it's a lot going on and it is causing a lot of people to have headaches a lot of people to have migraines because we're staring at these screens and all of these rays that's coming from these screens is getting into our eyes is getting into our brains is and it's affecting us and we're not even realizing that we are harming ourselves environmentally like this is considered an environmental trigger for a migraine literally I don't know if you pay attention to if you had your phone in your hand all day and you've been walking around and you've been had your phone or you sitting there working, you're in front of your computer for eight hours a day and your eyes get to feeling a type of way, your head gets to feeling a small um, tension on the side. Like it's because we do have to step away, give our eyes and our mind a break when we are doing these type of things because it will cause us to have very very bad migraines and headaches very bad so just try to work on what we're doing literally changes in climate um changes in humidity cold temperatures right now it's snowing outside again it's been snowing it seemed like for weeks here and it's causing people to have more and more headaches because it's so cold. You got to be outside. You got to clean the, the snow off of your car. You got to clean the ice off your car. And all of that cold temperature is freezing your body, going to your brain, making your brain too cold, and causing you very, very bad headaches and migraines. So just be mindful when you're going outside. Do wrap up. Make sure you're layered. You have on multiple a t shirt, uh, a muscle shirt, a t shirt long sleeve another sweater a coat stay bundled up and warmed up protect your body protect your chest protect your head protect your vital organs because you will trigger migraines and headaches that could last you anywhere from 20 minutes to two days so just literally be mindful um strong smells also cause migraines and headaches 
a stuffy atmosphere also cause migraines and headaches so if you need to get a humidifier and purify your house purify where you wet around you keep you keeping your car clean and that one is for me because the inside of my car is crazy <laughs> But y'all, these are environmental triggers to headaches, all of these things. Like, the more and more I live and learn and educate myself, the more and more I understand and realize a lot of problems that I was having with my mind, body, and soul is all brought on by the things that I'm doing, the things that I'm eating, and the things that I'm having around me. Is causing problems to my body, my mind, and my soul. So I have to rid it, get rid of it, and yeah, strengthen my system and my body. So I did want to talk about some of the things that will help with migraines and headaches. Understand and remember that a migraine is different from a headache. Migraine happened on both sides. I'm sorry. A headache happened on both sides. Migraine happened on one side. The pain of a migraine is three to four times the extremity of a regular headache. There are like 300 different types of headaches, but even all the types of headaches when it comes to a migraine the migraine is still worse than a headache the pain will have you vomiting dizzy nauseated laying under the under the bed in a pitch black dark in silence just stiff literally a migraine will take you down through there so just try to remember some of the triggers to migraines because migraines does have some triggers that help us emotional triggers emotional triggers is the stress anxiety tension shock depression and excitement physical triggers are tiredness poor sleep quality overworking yourself poor posture neck and shoulder tension jet lag um low blood sugar over exercising your body is also triggers for headaches then when it comes to our dietary triggers dietary triggers are not eating as well as we should And missing delayed or irregular meals, dehydrating ourselves, not drinking enough water is getting us dehydrated. Um, alcohol as well, overusing alcohol, overusing caffeine products, overeating citrus fruits, overeating chocolate. Literally foods that contain a bunch of yeast, a bunch of pickled stuff, um, over overeating smoked fish, and even me. Like um, I have noticed that because I am a very big seafood eater. Seafood is one of my main foods. I eat it all the time. I always have some type of crustacean in my freezer at all times. But I've noticed with me consuming so much, I'm putting a lot of iodine in my body. So that's causing me to drink more and more water to flush it out because that is a lot of salt for me. It really is. So, like, I have to make sure that I'm managing the amounts of food that I'm eating because I don't want to overdo it when it comes to, you know eating the seafood so just to talk about um some environmental triggers again is the bright lights the flickering screens sitting in front of the tvs and computers too long um smoky rooms loud noises um changes in the climate strong smells stuffy atmospheres are all environmental triggers all of these are things that surround us that we do every day so we have to pay attention and make sure that we are paying attention to the triggers to the migraines and the headaches so we can subside some of the daily headaches that we're having so the things that I use for my headache, for one, I want to start off, I know I've talked about this several times um, on some of my shows, is garlic. I use garlic a lot for high blood pressure because high blood pressure is my trigger for headaches. 
So again, I use garlic for my high blood pressure because high blood pressure is my trigger for headaches. But also, I do eat a lot of blueberries and raspberries because it does also help with headaches as well. And basil is one of my favorites. Y'all know I started growing my basil once it got very cold it died but it's okay because once it started dying I picked off all the leaves because I was utilizing everything um so sour sap as well sour sap um can be actually made into a paste and applied topically on your head to stop the headaches um it actually works very good for relieving internal pain by making it into a tea or some type of tincture um it has a bunch of sedative properties in it that's ideal for body pain and all types of body pain which is nerve back pain um migraines headaches sour sap is a painkiller guru um peppermint as well peppermint is <laughs> what can i say one of my favorites i always have peppermint i love it i use it for everything you can rub peppermint oil on your temples and you can also rub lavender oil on your temples as well when you have a headache or a migraine and it will subside the pain eliminate the pain drinking peppermint tea literally rid yourself of the headache um guinea and weed y'all know guinea and weed is my baby I'm out of guinea weed because it's all in my tea bags so I do got pain tea bags full of guinea and weed and other good stuff to help us get rid of this pain that we having in our bodies y'all so y'all can get that on Etsy y'all can hit me on Instagram y'all can walk into a 90.3 wild Eye radio station and just pay for some and get your clear purchase nature products so yes y'all guinea and weed was the first herb that I consumed that actually brought me to this lifestyle that I am in now and I was so intrigued and so amazed by I had a bad migraine when I was in Jamaica I was given guinea and weed tea. I actually picked it from three different herbs that they gave me a choice. And I chose guinea and weed just because it had the name weed in it. And by the time I was done drinking the calabash of tea, my headache was also gone away. So I was excited. I was ecstatic. I couldn't believe it because I've been having headaches for like 20 years so I couldn't believe that I can drink something and by the time I was done my headache was gone that made me run to nature that made me appreciate the value of nature and everything nature had going on and once I started to learn more I had to tell everybody else what was going on in nature so y'all guinea and weed is my baby guinea and weed is my favorite because guinea and weed strips the pain out of my body like no other I'm not even gonna play with you like it's not like no other guinea weed I love it um vervain is also um a sacred herb vervain is used um as a tincture sometimes to also rub on your head when you're having a headache you can also drop uh 20 to 40 drops in water before bed as needed to like strengthen your nerves to relieve insomnia um dispel depression treat nerve um exhaustion migraines headaches um vervain is literally a favorite plant for the maiden's altar it literally is a very sacred plant that helps with migraines and headaches. Vervain. Clove is also a really, really good pain killing herb. It literally kills pain and treat all types of headaches. Black cohosh root. Um, it also helps with headaches and migraines as well. Primrose is also really good for relieving headaches and migraines that's caused by menstrual pain. So our cycles is also one of those um, triggers that will trigger migraines as well because we have different things going on with our body during our cycle that cause us to be, you know, knocked off our regular balance that will cause us to get a headache. So these are some of the things and when it comes to food just a couple of foods that we can eat first off i want to say water 
water, water, water. Drinking enough water will hydrate your body. Move that water and that get that blood flowing to where it needs to go so you can subside the headaches and the migraines. Um, cherries, blueberries, bananas, sweet potatoes, melons, brown rice, nuts, and seeds are all very good foods that you can eat to help subside having so many headaches. Cherries, blueberries, bananas, ginger, sweet potatoes, melon, brown rice, nuts and seeds. Literally, y'all, these are things that you can consume to help subside and push back some of those headaches because it is actually all of these things the cherries the blueberries the bananas ginger sweet potatoes all of these things have their own properties they have their own nutritional value they have their own individual things that they're doing to get into your immune system to help your body that's the reason why it's good to eat these things if you do suffer from a lot of headaches because they're actually going in there and ridding your body of the toxins that's in your body that will go to your bloodstream that will flow to your brain to cause you to have migraines and headaches so y'all this is Cleopatra's Nature, the power of nature. I do have stress and anxiety tea bags, which is also a trigger for headaches and migraines. I do have a pain tea bag, which is also, um, it helps with all kind of pain that helps with back pain, nerve pain, neck pain, headaches, foot pain, whatever type of pain that you're having in your body. I do have those pain tea bags. So, Y'all, I appreciate and value y'all tuning in to Cleopatra's Nature, the power of nature radio show. You can, if you're um, just tuned in late, this show was about headaches and migraines. I get, I talked about the different types of headaches, what is a headache and what is a migraine. Um, so y'all can tune in to Cleopatra's Nature YouTube channel to see this video in its entirety if you missed anything so thank you continue to like share subscribe all of the products are available i am taking me a trip to get more herbs to do more things to bring back you know more greatness for cleopatra's nature and helping y'all to help me helping me to help y'all help ourselves we all are helping each other that's the purpose for the power of nature radio show is for us all to help each other we in west baltimore right now it's a lot of people in west baltimore that needs to hear uh, some healthy information wants to hear some healthy information about how to benefit their immune system and their life so y'all have a wonderful wonderful blessed day i will see y'all on saturday for savor saturdays so, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all. Live Irie, and be blessed, y'all.